Hey everybody, I'm going to make myself some lunch and I'm going to be using some things that were in my refrigerator that need to be used up. It's going to be a little bit of a stir fry and I'm going to add some canned chicken to it. I haven't made anything with canned chicken in a while. If you remember way back when, I used to do stuff with canned chicken all the time and I said, well, you know what? It's time to start doing that again. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to show you what I'm using to make myself a quick and easy lunch. So first, I have these uh, peppers that have been in the refrigerator. They're not soft or anything, but they do need to be used up. Um, I have the canned chicken, like I said. And I've had this in my freezer for a little bit. It's um, from Aldi. It's the riced cauliflower, the garlic and herbs. Uh, kind and then I have a cucumber I have a cucumber that um, I've been slicing up and using here and there and I really need to use that too so then I have some blue che uh, blue cheese dressing the great value brand blue cheese dressing and dip and I'm just gonna put a little garlic pepper seasoning some celery salt and some salt and pepper and also I have some butter that I'm going to use. So let's get you back up on the tripod and we'll start cooking this quick and easy lunch. Okay, so first I'm just going to start cutting up these peppers and I will um, melt some butter in the pan, saute them a little bit there. And yeah, so today is Sunday. It is not a very nice uh, day weather wise at all it's quite a mess I'm making right there but it's not a very nice day weather wise at all so what I did was I um, got up and I went walking at the mall and I'm really I think I'm, I'm maybe sad or disappointed is the word in what's going on with the mall here Back in the day, the mall was a really good place to go to. And I don't know about where you are, but the mall, it's like there's nothing there. It's, it's quite sad. I was walking around and I hadn't been there in quite a while. I, I could say um, 10 years and not be lying. Um, there's a Target at one end a Macy's at the other end, and then just random stores that um, aren't even open all the time, probably because they don't have anybody to work them. Um, I, I don't know, but there's a gym, um, a toy store that I don't even know how they're staying in business. A trampoline park for the kids but like I said it's nothing like it used to be and I think it's because online shopping and the outdoor shopping centers um, that we have like outdoor malls are really taking the place of indoor malls and it's just sad sad to see the food court used to be a lot of um, quick restaurants, a lot of pizza places, stuff like that, and they, they just don't have anything anymore. And it's, like I said, it's sad. There's a movie theater. There's a movie theater, but there isn't even anyone at the ticket window selling tickets. You have to download the app and buy your ticket that way. And sad is all I can say. So this kind of turned into a little bit of a chat about the mall, but you know when I'm cooking, I like to talk, right? So there are the peppers. I'll cut them up a little more. I'm going to turn on the burner on this stove, and this is the pan. You've seen it before that I got it. Ollie's really good. It was $9.99. I really like this pan. And yeah, so I'm gonna cut up cut some butter off this stick, put it in there, and then finish cutting up these peppers. 
So what about you? Do you have any malls that are just like ghost towns where you are? Yeah. Very sad to see. But I got a really good walk-in in. Um, I was going to go to the gym and use the treadmill, but I figured, I don't know, a little different change of scenery for the walk would be good. So that's what I did. Can't go walking outside. Well, I could go walking outside, but it's just, it's not nice out. It looks like it's going to downpour any minute, and that's not what I'm looking to happen while I'm out walking. So, that's that. All right, just waiting for this butter to melt a little bit. work tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday already. We are in the end of August and I think the kids go back to school, I don't know, before Labor Day? When I was a kid, you did not go to school till after Labor Day, but they start before Labor Day now, so whatever. All right. So there are the peppers, the orange and red pepper. So we'll put them right in the pan, saute them a little bit. I'm just gonna turn it down so you can see, and you just won't be able to see me while I talk, but that's okay. I don't really have anything else to say. That's just what I did today. Did have coffee with creamer in it. I don't know if you saw my uh, get ready with me. We went to the store to get gas and cream and then we went to Walmart. I do not like having coffee without cream. Even if I put regular milk in it, it's just not, not the same. So, all right, what I'm gonna do now is the Great Value Brand Chunk Chicken Breast. I am going to um, drain that in the sink my back to you and if you want to watch me do that we can do that too all right whoop do you see that i do not like these cans because i have the biggest fear of cutting myself I really do. All right, excuse me. chicken breast. I'm not going to rinse this off. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. It has sodium, but not a heck of a lot. So I'm just breaking this up in a little bit. You can see that, right? Yeah. It's kind of humid in here, but I haven't run my air conditioner in probably about a week. It's been cool, which is good. It's good for taking out the humidity too, right? right. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that back down again and put the chicken in there.
Now I'm not going to be eating this whole pan. This will go in the refrigerator. And I can have some even for supper or I can take it to work tomorrow too. So while that cooks a little more, what I'm going to do now is turn you up. Hello. I'm going to put this in the microwave. It says you can put it right in, the, you can cook it in the pan, but I don't want to add a lot of water to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to microwave this. Again, it's the rice cauliflower. And what does it say for the microwave? Shake, pouch gently to distribute vegetables evenly. Then, all right, so we shook it. Then, da, 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 do not puncture or open pouch. Place pouch this side up your microwave three to five minutes. Please excuse me while I go to the microwave. Plug the microwave in because I don't leave it plugged in. Three to five minutes, we'll do three minutes and 30 seconds. All right, three minutes and 30 seconds. So, stir this back up and turn you down a little bit. And while that is in the microwave, we will cut up the um, cucumber the rest of the way. So again, this cucumber I've had in the fridge. You need to use it up. Just slice that up a little bit, and I'm going to leave the peel on. Actually, I'm not going to eat this whole half a cucumber, so I'm just going to use what I sliced up there for myself and put this in the refrigerator. Go back in the refrigerator. I do not like to waste. Alright. Stir that up a little more. probably know they got my big lots on clearance um, last summer uh, I remember, the cute little melamine or whatever they call anyway. so there's a little cucumber slices right there let's check the microwave to see how much longer this has a minute 25 seconds. So, in the meantime, I'm just going to add these spices to this. This is the garlic pepper seasoning. Put it at the Dollar Tree. I, I get everything else at the Dollar Tree. And then, put a little celery salt in it. Brand new! Brand new! I haven't even opened it. much spices because this um, cauliflower stuff has garlic and herbs in it. So what I'm going to do is put a little more butter into this. And turn it down. All right. Stir some more butter in there. And it's leaking too. Oh my goodness. It's hot 
and it's leaking. I'm not going to get that. I'm going to get a bowl. Get a bowl. All right. Hot stuff, hot stuff, hot stuff. So there is the rice cauliflower. I'm going to cut that open and just put it right into the pan. It's already cooked. This is already cooked, so it's just going to mix together. garlic and herb but it's kind of green well that would be the herbs robin all right i was like what is it Got broccoli no it's green because it has herbs in it silly girl right oh robin all right so there real quick creation healthy really healthy in fact let me read you the um, health information or whatever it's called on the back of this. So half a cup prepared of this is 25 calories, zero fat, zero saturated fat, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, sodium, 7%, total carbohydrates, 1%, daily fiber, 4%, Added sugar, 0%. Not lying, there's nothing to this really healthy, and it's good. All right, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to um, clean this up a little bit, and I'll turn this around, and I'll show you. Okay, so there it is in the pan, all cooked, and I did plate some up. I cut the cucumbers in half um, because, you know, I don't want to shove the whole things in my mouth. <laughs> and I put some of the Great Value brand um, blue cheese, Great Value brand blue cheese. And that, again, is the cauliflower, canned chicken, and yellow and red peppers. And um, it was quick and easy and very healthy. So... That is my quick lunch. I am going to eat it. I'll probably read a little bit. I'd like to sit on the balcony, but it's drizzly and humid. I don't know. Maybe I'll just sit in my recliner or my rocking chair and read my book, right? Yes. So thank you for watching. I hope you're all well. I hope you can enjoy the rest of your Sunday and whatever you do this coming week. I hope it's good. I hope you have a peaceful week, and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye.